That's the College Basketball Awards, presented by Wendy's. Tonight, we honor the best players in college basketball. The Bob Cousy Award for Top Point Guard. Jerry West Award for Shooting Guard. The Julius Irving Award for the Best Small Forward. Carl Malone Award for Power Forward. The Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Award for the Best Center. And featuring the John R. Wooden Award for Men's and Women's Player of the Year. Plus, the Legends of Coaching Award. Featuring Jay Williams, Jay Billis, Seth Greenberg. Special appearances by Michelle Beadle, Grey's Anatomy star Jesse Williams, and more. And now, your host, Reese Davis. Thank you. No, really, you, you shouldn't, and apparently you're finished, so you're not, so I appreciate that. Thank you for being with us tonight. This is going to be a tremendous evening with our first annual College Basketball Awards. You know, in this college basketball era, the so-called one-and-done era, this season was one to remember, nothing short of historic. From Kentucky's 38-no start to Duke's championship finish and Coach K's fifth national championship, trailing only the legendary John Wooden, to all things Kaminsky in between during the season, this has been a spectacular year for college basketball and it's fitting that we are going to celebrate the extraordinary tonight and we're going to do here do it here in club nokia which is just across the way from the theater where sunday night they'll host the mtv movie awards and i don't know how familiar you guys are with that but they do some offbeat kind of categories in the mtv movie awards things like best shirtless scene we are not doing that but they also do one called the what the you know moment something that is completely surprising no one could have ever seen coming and potentially by the end of the night we could have that type of moment let's say the ncaa people will be going we also do greenberg and jay williams oh no i'm talking about bank shots you know like the best bank shot this is a family show yes but we are going to celebrate things that we've seen over the course of this season. We're going to examine it from every possible angle, which is certainly more than we can say for the officials in the NCAA championship game. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, is that too soon, Bo? No. <laughs> a little more time. Maybe I should have given that a week. <laughs> we are going to have a terrific night. We're glad that you're here with us. We have some of the greatest stars in the history of the game here to present some of the awards for us. Jerry West is here, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Carl Malone, Julius Irving, and of course, all of the eight awards culminates with the most prestigious award in college basketball, the John R. Wooden Award presented by Wendy's. It is the Heisman of college basketball, but I, I do understand that perhaps we had a little bit of foreshadowing for this particular award. Uh, Jay Billis, is that right? Did we have some foreshadowing? It's supposed to be a secret, but I'm told it's on the internet. <laughs> so if you don't want the spoiler alert, stay away from the internet. Here are the finalists for the men's and women's John R. Wooden Award. In terms of the skill set, I think he'd be one of the top four big men in the NBA right now. He's starting to soar up draft boards. Do they lead their team to success? Do they pass my eye test? He can score, he can pass, he can get his own shot. This kid is a star. Great time to stop. Just stop it. Are you kidding me? How about Fred Kaminsky, the seven-footer with crazy handles? Joe Lloyd is getting it going. How are you going to stop that, Dan? That's like Farishnikov. Tiffany Mitchell is ready for big moments. Look at this one. Williams and 
Jay Billis here. Jay, as you look at it, it's been 40 years since Coach Wood and Coach, why is it that his name still carries so much weight in this game? Well, he's one of the all-time great champions, not only in basketball, but in the history of American sport. And he's really the poet laureate uh, of college basketball. And his teachings are as relevant today as they were when he was winning 10 out of 10 championships in 12 years. Uh, everybody knows John Wooden and knows what it means. You know, teaching is an important word. I got a chance to sit with John Wooden when I won the award in 2002, and I asked him for some advice. And he said, Jay, there's two kind of people in this life. You know, we all hit the wall eventually. The first person hits the wall, he falls down on his back, he looks at the wall and he says, oh, woe is me. The second person hits the wall, falls down, gets up, hits the wall again, falls down, until, until he breaks through the wall. And then he looks over his shoulder and says, I knew that wall never defined me. How to persevere through adversity, that's what John Wooden taught me. So much knowledge that we can still get after this time from John Wooden. You know, we are missing one of our partners and all of the finalists for the Wooden Award for sure. They had to endure great hardship, go through uh, perseverance and be strong and tough. And that continues for a couple of them who are now in the green room with Seth Greenberg. Uh, Seth, you, we, we've quarantined you up there with a couple of people. Yes, I am here. I'm here with Brianna Stewart, Julia Lokifer, and uh, I miss you guys. Not really. Brianna, during the course of the season this year, especially early in the season, Gino Oriama said he didn't like his team. What's it like being around Gino when he doesn't like his team? Uh, it's not a lot of fun. And... Uh, when we lost to Stanford this year, it, it wasn't fun. We had a nice 6 a.m. practice the, the following day once we got back from Stanford. Now, after that practice, how was he able to, like, flip the season around and get you guys going to the point where you won your third consecutive national championship? Uh, he helped us really mature as people and as players. And, you know, we all had the, the common goal that we wanted, which was a national championship, but we had to figure out how to get better and, and reach it. That's great. Julio, 1,000 wins. You were part of that. Another national championship for Coach K. What makes Coach K different? Um, I think he's understanding the people. Uh, he always understood what I was going through and the rest of my teammates, and he was really able to, to, to connect with us, and that's why we were able to get better throughout the season. Great, thanks, and good luck tonight. Back to you, Reese. Please welcome Reese Davis and the NBA's all-time leading scorer, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, uh, I understand maybe we could give you early birthday wishes that comes up next week, right? Uh, yeah, next Thursday. No, yes. happy, happy birthday to you. You know, Thank Kareem, you. For, for so many years we said that there was a dearth of big men in college basketball, but this year there seemed to be a resurgence of terrific centers. What defines a great center to you? Well, I think he's the guy that can uh, clean up the mistakes for his teammates. Guys that get beat on the uh, perimeter and you have somebody penetrating. The center gets over there, stops the layup, uh, makes it very difficult for the uh, scorer when uh, you get penetration. That's a, that's a great thing that a center does for his other guys. And offensively, he gives them uh, high percentage shots in the paint. So whether he's a jump shooter or a hook shooter like myself, he can get them uh, six to ten foot shots. Those are high percentage shots. Those are the shots that, that win games. Uh, the three-point line is very seductive, but... Uh, that's not where you win games. You win games in the trenches here, putbacks, and the, the three-point play that causes fouls and puts that defensive pressure on uh, the other team where the guys have to become cautious behind uh, the, the fear of fouling out. And as many great centers as we had, this guy did it better than anybody this season. The Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Center of the Year presented by Wells Fargo is Wisconsin's Frank Kaminsky. Frank Kaminsky showing the all-American skills. Kaminsky for three. How about the spin move by Frank the Tank? You better help our Frank Kaminsky. Soft touch in the paint. That's pretty sweet. Let's welcome the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Award winner, Frank Kaminsky, coming to the stage. What a great career it was for Frank. Four-year player at Wisconsin, grew by leaps and bounds, took his team to the final four in consecutive years. Trophy is all yours now. Frank, congratulations. Now, look, the one thing, you've got a lot of great footwork, you've got a variety of shots, but I've watched you play a ton. I haven't seen that. What would it take to get the skyhook in your game? 
I've actually tried it a lot of times, and I don't know how he did it. It's kind of it's kind of miraculous. <laughs> Can we get a little coaching maybe later on? Uh, I think uh, Frank would be a, a great student. I don't think it would take him more than a, a week or two to just figure it out. He, he has all the skills, and the game's played up here, so I'm. I'm sure he can handle that. I think he could. Frank, congratulations to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Center of the Year Award, and Frank and a lot of other guys responsible for some of the greatest plays of this past season. Open up the champagne. Any day of the week, any coach in America, I think would make that same statement. Mike Krzyzewski kept off the 1,000th victory in an already monumental coaching career. Balls down low for Harris, who is blocked by Willie Pauling Stein. That is why they are so tough. What a pass from Russell to Thompson for the dump. Is he putting on a show? <laughs> I knew it was coming. Barnett for three. Morris, oh, the shot to win. to have a look at the outfit Jalil Rothafor was able to pick up today at the last minute. All the finalists for the Wooden Award are here. We're going to hand out other positional awards, including the Shooting Guard of the Year with the great Jerry West, who's with us tonight on our first annual College Basketball Awards show. Stick around, everybody. Plenty of hardware to hand out here at Club Nokia in L.A. Too. With everything the new 2015 Focus has to offer, it's easy to get into a Ford. A razor can hang on for dear life or hug every curve. New Gillette with FlexBall technology makes maximum contact and gets virtually every hair. Gillette. This disposable is like a one-hit wonder, but this razor, it keeps cranking out the hits. Upgrade to the new Gillette with FlexBall technology. One refill gets you up to one month of shaves. Satisfaction guaranteed. Gillette. Here comes number one. Steel dealer days have landed. The perfect time to shop for the number one selling brand of handheld power equipment in Canada. With blowers starting at $179.95. Grass streamers $139.95. And chainsaws $199.95. Not at the Home Depot. Not at Canadian Tire. Visit your local steel dealer for expert advice, on-site service, and Canada's number one selling brand of handheld power equipment. Find yours today at steel.ca. Your new favorite restaurant is waiting. Just open your patio door and savor the moment. Make lasting memories. It's about quality time. Designed for performance, style, and outstanding results. Your new favorite restaurant will be your own backyard. Broil King. Great barbecues every time. Thank you. 
For 25 years, you've been helping to make our roads safer by doing the right thing. You've been the designated driver, you've stayed over, called home, you've called a cab or a friend, and planned ahead. Let's keep doing the right thing. Support sober driving by getting yourself and your friends home safely. Do the right thing. Visit ArrivalLive.org to find out more. Arrive Alive. Drive sober. Back on the College Basketball Awards, presented by Wendy's. Frank Kaminsky, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the green room, where perhaps you're talking hook shot, or maybe Seth Greenberg is telling them how you have to down the ball screen. Please welcome Jay Williams and the 1959 Final Four Most Outstanding Player from West Virginia, Jerry West. Now, I don't like to pass the ball that much in college, but I think I would have made the exception for you. Well, you were supposed to be a point guard, right? That's true. I was supposed to be a point guard. Yeah, but you were a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you scored 25,192 points in your illustrious NBA career. What does it mean for you to have your name branded on a trophy like this tonight? Well, I, you know, first of all, uh, I'm thrilled to be here. Um, anytime someone wants to recognize you for something that you love to do, it's more important. And uh, I know that the game brought me a lot of joy, uh, a lot of heartache. But at the end of the day, I think the thing I most enjoyed was the competition. I, I love to win. And... Um, for the, these young kids here today, I wish I were your age, to be honest with you. It's so much fun to compete. It's the greatest game in the world, and uh, thank God I had a chance to share a little bit with it before you guys were even thinking about being born. <laughs> well, speaking of somebody else who loves to enjoy the competition, let's take a look at the Jerry West Shooting Guard of the Year Award. The Jerry West Shooting Guard of the Year is Ohio State D'Angelo Russell. Russell off. The guy's pretty good. What a pass from Russell! Is he putting on his show? Down the middle of the floor, along three, got it! Russell hits another three. The fabulous freshman, D'Angelo Russell. Let's give a warm welcome for, I gave him his name, D'Angelo. How does it feel, Russell? Come on up. Smooth outfit today, my man. I like it. Hey, come over here, Angel. Thank you. All right, I always thought there, there's a theme song out for you that should be All Day by Kanye, right? Because every time I watch you play, you're doing whatever you want, whenever you want, on the court against whoever you want. Did you expect that kind of performance this year in college basketball? Man, I, I give the glory to God on that one. Um, everything just happened for me. Uh, I, I mean, like you said, I mean, I just, I had an edge on my, on my shoulder the whole time, and it just worked out right for me. Well, congratulations. Best of luck to you. Reese, back to you, buddy. All right, Jay Will. Boy, D'Angelo was fun to watch. Jerry West, Shooting Guard of the Year, award presented to Ohio State's D'Angelo Russell. You know, the inventor of the game, James Naismith, once said to Fog Allen, he said, basketball is not a game that's meant to be coached. It's a game that's meant to be played. And it's true that there probably is some individual artistry that's very difficult to coach. But seeing a game perfectly orchestrated from the sideline is also most compelling. You get the best of both worlds at the Naismith Hall of Fame. Springfield, Massachusetts is the birthplace of basketball and home to the Basketball Hall of Fame. The hall celebrates and promotes the game of basketball at all levels. Its mission is to honor the game's greatest moments, history, and the men and women that played it. The Point Guard of the Year Award is named after one of the hall's most decorated members, the Houdini of the Hardwood, Bob Cousy. Obviously, I'm humbled and, and honored that the Hall of Fame would choose me for this distinction. It's, uh, it's a validation of all, I'd like to think, all the hard work and sacrifice that went into having a successful career. And uh, after I've gone to the big basketball court in the sky, it'll be very meaningful to my daughters. Bob Cousy, unfortunately, couldn't be with us here today, but he was one of the most prolific passers and playmakers in the game. 13 NBA All-Star trips, and you talk about six NBA championship rings. So without further ado, let's take out the look at the winner of the Bob Cousy Award. The Bob 
Jacuzzi Point Guard of the Year, presented by College of the Holy Cross, is Utah's Salon Wright. A steal by Wright. Oh, he is the most ready guy on the floor. Wow. Somebody just got barbecued. Let's give a big warm welcome to DeLon Wright from Utah. The best pass makers in the game. Took Utah deep into the tournament. Dressed for success too, apparently. Congratulations. You're a guy that came into the game, you continued to work your way up to the top. You give the crowd some insight into how you got there. Yeah, um, unfortunately I have to go to junior college. Um, you know, I had to work my grades, and I got to the University of Utah, and I just kept working, and, you know, it worked out for me. There you go. Hard work always pays off. Congratulations, DeLon. Let's go now to Reese Davis, who's with Frank Kaminsky. And, Jay, well, uh, Frank Kaminsky is a sneaky good defender. He'll poke the ball away from you when you least expect it. You can block shots. But how much easier would it be, Frank, if you could just raise the basket to any height you wanted just whenever you decided? It's pretty easy when you do it that way. Um, hey. People can't score on you. You decide. Did it work out that way? Let's see how it worked out. Frank, Justin Mabasco, could you score on yourself? I don't know. It'd be tough, but I think I can do it. Jordan, Kobe, Dr. J, Kaminsky. Next in line. Frank Kaminsky is tough to score. Messed up tie top button has no chance. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> you guys need to score on Frank Kaminsky? <laughs> You just do it. First try, bam, stuck it right to him. This might, might be the best moves I've seen from you since that whole Taylor Swift video thing. <laughs> why do you got to bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm your friend. That's why. Frank, thanks a lot. Kaminsky, tough to score against. I'll tell you somebody who could score all the time. We've got a couple of doctors in the house. We have one, Jesse Williams, who plays the doctor on TV on Grey's Anatomy. And we also have a real doctor, Julius Irving, Dr. J here. Uh, have you had Doc have a look at that knee you heard in the Celebrity All-Star game? No, we were just talking shop. This is my first return to uh, ESPN territory after tearing the ACL, MCL, and both meniscus. So. Well. Now, why you got to bring us down? We want you to be healthy. I was going to have, I was going to have some fun and have Doc check you out. And now you made me feel bad for you. This is a Debbie Downer segment. Oh. My bad. My bad. I got, I got advice for him though. Yeah. What I mean, got? before you go out and play, you know, you got to stretch. You got to prepare. You got to do some training. <laughs> Can't just go out there and go butt wild and just let it all hang out. I did not uh, get the memo. He didn't get that. He didn't get that memo. Yeah. It looks so the direct easy when the Yes, it does. It definitely looked easy when Doc did it. We'll have the Julius Irving small forward award, and Jesse's going to rank some dunks for you a little later on in our award show. Introducing the world's first dual-edge screen, the all-new Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. What's this? A box. It takes worn-out things and makes them better. Want to see? Yeah. Cool. What else you got? It's our biggest breakthrough yet. We're taking worn out batteries and making them into something strong. New Energizer Eco Advanced, world's first long lasting battery made with 4% recycled batteries. Here comes number one. Steel dealer days have landed. The perfect time to shop for the number one selling brand of handheld power equipment in Canada. With blowers starting at $179.95, grass trimmers $139.95, and chainsaws $199.95. Not at the Home Depot, not at Canadian Tire. Visit your local steel dealer for expert advice, on-site service, and Canada's number one selling brand of handheld power equipment. Find yours today at steel.ca.
Where can you find Canada's most award-winning car? On just about any Canadian street. Because Ajax's most award-winning car ever is also one of the most popular. It's the Mazda 3 with game-changing Skyactiv technology and iActive Sense safety technology. Exhilarating performance means unbeatable fuel efficiency and unrivaled safety. And now, from just $15,995, get the Mazda 3 at Mazda's Get It In Gear sales event. Possibility. It starts early, before we even know what it is. There's no best before date. It stays with us. When we're down, it shows up unannounced. But it doesn't happen by itself. Behind every changed life is someone who made it happen. Together, we are possibility. After a night out with your friends, not having a plan for a safe ride home can leave you in a bad spot. You could end up riding in a police car, an ambulance, or a hearse. These unplanned modes of transportation can be a costly choice and do not take you home. Your plan could include a designated driver, a taxi, or public transit. Drink responsibly, choose your ride, and have a plan for a safe ride home. Visit ArriveAlive.org to find out more. Live from Club Nokia in Los Angeles, it's the College Basketball Awards, presented by Wendy's. I'm here in the green room with Bo Ryan, and Bo, you guys had an unbelievable last two years. What will you remember most about this group? Seth, I, I know you've coached and you know what I'm going to say. It's just watching them develop together, the way they played off of one another. Uh, from when they from where they started when they came in to by the time these this senior class has graduated how they brought along the younger guys and how everybody just shared the ball and uh, it became the most efficient offense in in college basketball for a reason because it's their personalities it's the way they enjoyed being around one another and it certainly was enjoyable for the guy that was strolling the sidelines I'll tell you, it was fun to watch as a, as a spectator. And I was going to say something about this fancy suit that I know it's not rented, but we're not going there. Back to you, Reese. Please welcome Jay Billis and 1993 Nathan Hall of Fame inductee, Julia Irving. Dr. Dr. Jay, can I call you doctor? Uh, call me Jay. When you played at UMass, you yeah. had... You averaged 26 points and 20 rebounds for your career, one of only six players in history to accomplish that. When you look at the young players of today, especially the players at your position, what, what comes to mind? What do you think of them? Well, I think about the, uh, the influence of the AAU, for one thing. You know, everybody handles the ball. Um, you know, they kind of spread it around, play more, more of a team game, if you will. Uh, big guys go outside, little guys go inside. Uh, you, the three-point line, as uh, Kareem said, sometimes that's fool's goal, but sometimes it pays off. But it always paid off when you went to the basket. Let's, let's take a look at the winner of the award that bears your name. Okay. The Julius Irving Small Forward of the Year, presented by the University of Massachusetts, is Arizona's Stanley Johnson. <laughs> in the traffic. Yeah. Good luck, Jefferson with a stop. Showtime. York the wide. And Johnson the finish. Stanley Johnson, come on down. Stanley Johnson was the leading scorer for Arizona in their 34-4 season, went all the way to the Elite Eight. He averaged 14 points a game, six and a half rebounds. Also won four state titles in modern day when he was in high school. Well, Stanley, first congratulations. But what, what does it feel like to get an award from one of the greats in all of in all of sport, let alone all of basketball? Yeah, it's a blessing, man. You know, he's one of my favorite players to ever play the game. So to get it from him on this hottest stage, it's, it's really a blessing for me. Well, you can not only play somewhat like him, but your shoe game your shoe game matches him too. Congratulations. <laughs> Back to you, Reese. All right, Jay. What a, what a great moment for me, by the way. I never thought I would see this. The star of a fish who saved Pittsburgh and the star of I Come in Peace. On the same stage, Jay Billis played the bad alien. He got blown up right at the end of the movie. It's my favorite part. 
You know, John Wooden once said, a coach is someone who can correct without causing resentment. Very few do that as expertly as our winner of the legend of coaching. Here's Jim Wojciechowski. <laughs> Steve Fisher's college head coaching career began with a B, as in Bo Schimbeckler, and an M, as in Michigan Man. Timing is everything, and on March 15, 1989, Steve Fisher was in the right place, with the right team, with the right attitude. What happened next was nothing less than astounding. From little-known Michigan assistant coach, to interim coach, to national championship coach, to full-time coach. You can't make it up. Fisher always looked like his grandmother just pinched his cheeks. But you don't win a Final Four by accident or coach in three NCAA title games or also win an NIT championship. And you certainly don't win more than 520 Division I games as Fisher has done during the course of his 24-season career. Timing is one thing, but taking advantage of those unlikely opportunities is another. Fisher won at Michigan when nobody thought he would. He later won by doing the then unthinkable, starting five fabulous freshmen. And he has resuscitated a San Diego State program that barely had a pulse when he arrived there in 1999. That was almost 300 victories ago. He was 44 years old when Bo handed him the keys to Michigan. And he just turned 70 in the month that helped make his career. You guessed it, March. Here to present our Legends of Coaching Award, John Wooden's daughter, Nan, and the co-chairman of the John R. Wooden Award, Sam Lagana and Tommy Hawkins. Steve Fisher, be my honor to present this to you. step right here, Steve, a little bit closer, if you will. Steve, great career, remarkably different circumstances from when you took over at Michigan and what you built at San Diego State. What are the similarities from a coaching standpoint? Well, I, I think when you do what we do, you try to pick someone that you say, glean some things from him, and for me to be up here tonight, to receive uh, an honor, named after the greatest coach ever, John Wooden, is something special. Uh, my first Final Four ever, 1975, San Diego. Uh, ironically, I now live in San Diego, coach San Diego State, and I got to know Coach Wooden, Nan and the family, and it's been such a privilege for me to have that opportunity. It would not have happened had I not come to San Diego State. So I feel very honored and blessed to be this year's recipient. Steve, congratulations on this great award, the Legends of Coaching, Steve Fisher of San Diego State. We'll continue on our college basketball awards show. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to rake some dunks. Jesse Williams and Michelle Beadle. I don't know if Beadle can stop him with her block dunk face or not. What do you got, Beadle? Not enough. You made Nissan the fastest growing brand. That's awesome. It's wonderful. We have a lot of fun. A lot of my customers have been telling me that Nissan offers a lot of value. I love the product, and I think the quality speaks for itself. People are talking about Nissan. It's very exciting. We're celebrating by giving you the exclusive worry-free lease. And now, until April 30th, get up to an additional $750 cash bonus on select Micra and Centra models. Another reason why we're the fastest growing brand. Thank you, Canada. Thank you, Canada. Thanks, Canada. Thank you, Canada. <laughs> only last a couple of days. Some last a lifetime. Hanson, we go together.
make a difference in your game. The new Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. It's closing time, and you stayed out longer than you planned. So now you can't drive, and the buses have stopped running. You could always call your girlfriend. Or maybe your roommate. What about your best friend? You could just dial one triple eight taxi guy or use the taxi guy app. The call and the app are free, and they both connect you to a local cab company to bring you home safely. Visit arrivealive.org to find out more. Arrive alive, drive sober. The city's sick, and we're lost. This is my home. I'm not leaving. Do you believe Gotham can be safe? He's a serial killer. Were you trying to escape? If we don't fight for the city, you will. It's a new day in the GCPD. You traveled. Booked a hotel. All to witness that crushing defeat. Is there life after a loss like this? to the College Basketball Awards, presented by Wendy's. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the host of Sports Nation, Michelle Beadle. Hey. Like, things are about to get really official up here, uh, and very serious. Uh, I know it's been a serious night so far, but things are about to take a turn. These three gentlemen here, I think it's going to be the night of your lives, guys, so... Good luck to you. You're already very familiar with this gentleman here. He plays a doctor on TV. He's also very hurt and just cheated in basketball in the back there. Jesse Williams from Grey's Anatomy on ABC, of course. Still doing his thing. Are you winded because you ran down here? Uh, Jaron Grant, I'm going to read your accolades right here. Are you ready? <clears throat> just nod. Only player in Notre Dame history to score more than 1,700 points, dish off 600 assists, make 50 steals, 30 blocks, and he's also a Wooden Award finalist. So that's good. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was going to steal Reese's joke, but yes, you all are very familiar with Julius Irving on the end there, Dr. J. He is also very familiar with slam dunks, which is why he is the most perfect human being we could have had to judge what is about to happen here. Um, the problem is I'm going to need a little help with the rules because as you probably know by now, slam dunk contests are very different depending on where you go. And I forgot the piece of paper that had the rules, so maybe we could bring that out here. <laughs> For you kids out there in the age of 18, this is R2-D2 of Star Wars and all the great films fame. Thank you, sir. Now, feast your eyes on the screen above us. You will see LSU's Jarrell Martin with a dunk that is embarrassing to those that were in the game not named Jarrell Martin. Okay. It's just your classic under the legs in competition mode. Nobody was embarrassed at all. We did the only thing we know we could do. We hit the LA Athletic Club to see if anybody could do this dunk. Gentlemen, get ready to judge. Our first contestant tonight I present to you goes by the name of Garen. <laughs> this is, by the way, this is real. 6'1", uh, 185 pounds. Jaron, he actually fancies himself to be much like you. And uh, let's see what he's got. <laughs> Jesse, what do you got over there? I need to see some numbers. Hold them up. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to hold a zero up? No. It's a series of failures. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're going with a three, Jaron. What do you have? A two. And a four. I like that guy. He's on the J2. Dr. James being very nice with him. And also, take into account the dunk face, because that is also obviously a part of the showmanship. Contestant number two goes by the name of Chris. Uh, he stands a whopping 6'2", and he would not give us his weight, because men are vain. Uh, and he aspires to dunk like Montrez Harrell. <coughs> so good luck. <laughs> I don't have a feeling this is going to end badly for Chris. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. R2, good. 
Jesse definitely had some intensity. Right. His dunk face in the in the actual act yeah. was amazing. Mm -hmm. He came in with power, confidence, sure. glasses, mm -hmm. slacks. Uh, he's getting an eight from me. An eight. Okay, Jared. Everything but the dunk. Jared is nodding. Seems to agree. Yeah, I like him. He had his tongue out when he was going up the dunk. Okay. Uh, okay. It's a good sign. For that. A seven. That. By the way, none of us are keeping score, so <laughs> go ahead. Right, I'm going the other way. Oh wow. I'm going to give him a three. Uh, and the three was totally for effort. Ball, okay. The ball never went in, at least from my point of view. I mean, Chris it's just got angle. judged by Doctor You got to like get it in. Contestant three. I, this. This is Pedro. Now height might be a factor in this. He is 5'1", uh, 130, and he is nothing like D'Angelo Russell. <laughs> R2, you like that one? He's your height. He'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You gotta love him. You gotta love Pedro. A 10! A 10 from Jesse Williams. All right. for a dunk contest. He's this height. He's 5'1". He won already. He won. Jaron, what do you got? He couldn't get a 10 from me. He didn't, he didn't dunk. Not perfect, yeah. but a 9 is pretty darn good. Don't you, Jay? He's the best so far. <laughs> He's the best. He's the best He's so the far. Best, but this uh, is as far as I can get. Wow, it's getting tough. All right. Contestant 4 and our finalist here, 6'8", uh, 240, his favorite college player, Montrez Harrell. So this should be good, I think. Or not at all. Let's find out. Definitely intense. <laughs> <laughs> Different. R2 likes that one. Now, the dunk face I thought was lacking in there's intensity. No passion in the dunk face. No passion in the dunk face. I think this, this player, if there's one thing that's missing from his game, is a dunk face. Okay. So, uh, he, he could do a lot of work, you think? I just got to leave some room for improvement, so I'm going with a Ooh, six. A six. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that? Do you like that? Uh, I've seen this dunk face before, so I'll give him an eight. You've seen it before, so you're going to go with an eight. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. J? Bet your last money. That was a six all a the six. way. A six. Dr. J took this seriously, by the way. That was a six all the way. Apparently, the only way we can get to this is a guy who knows everything about dunks. Uh, J. Will, what do you got? I'm all about laying the ball up right here yeah. at my dunk face, but we're going to get a chance to capture some of the best in the game in their dunk faces. Let's start off with Kareem. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's one. Jerry? Forget it. There it is. Oh. No more with Jerry. Should I, should I even, yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful, that, look at that dunk face right there. I got one more. Wait, I got one more. This is great. This is going to be perfect. Oh. Gary Payton wow. the glove. That's the face. That's Seattle right there. Back to you, Michelle. I'm actually intimidated by what I just saw. Got a shout out to R2-D2 because here's the deal. You didn't think this was free, did you? All six epic films, Phantom Menace, Return of the Jedi. All, all of them available digital AC throughout the galaxy, or at least here on Earth. And uh, I'm going to now throw it up to the dunks of the year. A little stufferino! Let's go to the top ten right there. Hello! Oh my goodness! Oh, off the back for the Kaliba! Alexander going right through the Brian Dash. Oh my goodness, with authority. Dash hammers it down. Wow. Oh boy. Definitely not any no price zone going on here. The transition on the top. Oh! Are you serious? Yes, Dash it here, baby. Cover the troops. That was sick. Please welcome Jay Billis and the second leading scorer in NBA history, Carl Malone. Louisiana Tech, you took Louisiana Tech to its first ever NCAA tournament. You're one of the great college basketball players of all time, second all-time in NBA scoring as a power forward. What to you makes a great power forward other than being named Carl Malone? Well, uh, being physical and uh, running the floor, putting the pressure on the defense and protecting your teammates. And don't discriminate 
whoever you hit when they come in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at a power forward that does not discriminate. The Carl Malone Power Forward of the Year, presented by C-Connect, is Louisville's Montrez Herald. The lob, the finish! Montrez Harrell, come on up and see how physical you are in the paint with the great Carl Malone. Montrez is a junior, averaged 16 points, nine and a half rebounds, a couple of blocks per game. He was second team all ACC for a team that won 29 games and went to the Elite Eight, the Louisville Cardinals. Montrez, congratulations. First of all, how does it feel to get an award with the name Carl Malone on it? Um, it's completely and truly a blessing, you know, uh, to be compared and just have a war with one of the greats in the basketball and Carl Malone, you know, it's just a blessing. Well, you're a great player, but when you stand next to Carl, better get in the weight room. Look at this guy. <laughs> Reese, it's up to you. <laughs> All right, Jay, that's for sure. Strong guys over there. Montrez has a silent L in his name, which is unlike anything Jay has. He's not silent about anything at any point. Here to present the Women's Wooden Award, a U.S. Olympian and member of the Naismith Hall of Fame and an All-American at UCLA four times, my friend Ann Myers-Drysdale and also the president of the Los Angeles Athletic Club, Steve Hathaway. Thank you, Reese. Thank you, everybody. Good evening. And uh, I'd like to reiterate kind of what Jerry West said, that uh, even for the women, it's uh, amazing to see where they are today and love to be playing now, but I think we played in a pretty good time too. We had a good generation. But because of that, you know, I, I've been pretty blessed and privileged to be a part of the growth of women's basketball and to see where it's come and uh, to see the competition today collegiately, professionally. It's been pretty amazing to watch and uh, so I feel grateful that I was a part of it. It's been pretty exciting. And uh, the Women's Wooden Award was created 12 years ago to honor the best player in the country. And I was fortunate enough that I was one of the, play the people that Papa talked to and discussed about the award. He did love the women's game and he wanted to do something to show his appreciation and res respect for the game. And so to have this award named after a great teacher, coach, and human being like John Wooden is what makes this award pretty special. So the five women here tonight. The nominees for the Women's Wooden Award are Nina Davis, Baylor. Over a thousand points, no girl here. She's only a sophomore. She is just relentless. Nicole Beasy. Jill Alloy, Notre Dame. She can do her outfit. She's so dynamic in the mid-range. Oh boy, puts the ball in the basket with great regularity. She is up there. Tiffany Mitchell, South Carolina. One of their best scorers. Very intense, great quickness. She is explosive. She's a very smart, all-around player. Kalina Mosqueda Lewis, UConn. The best shooter in the country. One of the great three-point shooters in the history of college basketball. She's automatic out there. Rihanna Stewart, UConn. There is very little she can't do. Stewart who can change the pace of the game. It's such a versatile, gifted athlete. Extraordinary shot blocker. And on behalf of the Los Angeles Athletic Club, I'm honored to present the Women's John R. Wooden Award to Brianna Stewart of University of Connecticut. Brianna, congratulations. You, you've won so many individual awards, so many team championships. What's the significance to you of winning an award with John Wooden's name on it? Um, you know, to win an award with John Wooden's name on it is an unbelievable honor, and obviously he's, he's the best in, in the basketball world, and, you know, it just shows that a lot of hard work is off. 
Another championship for the UConn Huskies. Congratulations on the Most Outstanding Player Award and the Wooden Award tonight. Brianna Stewart from UConn, congratulations. Brianna and the UConn women have certainly set a standard of excellence over the years, winning their 10th championship, and while certainly that was inspiring, perhaps the most inspirational story of this college basketball season came from a young woman named Lauren Hill from Mount St. Joseph's. Her dream was to play college basketball. It was discovered that she had an inoperable brain tumor. In November, she realized her dream by scoring her team's first and last basket. Today, Lauren lost her battle with brain cancer. Our best go out and our condolences and our prayers to Lauren's family, and we thank her for the inspiration she provided. be in a fashion mode whether you're in an indoor mode or an outdoor mode always see life in the best light with the iconic new color of transition signature lenses our advanced chromia 7 technology now comes in graphite green see more of Laurence LaBeouf and the full range of colors at transitions.com Every chip can turn into a dream at PartyPoker.net. Every hand into the greatest poker journey of your life. Next stop, the Canadian Spring Championship. They are going bare knuckles in the center of the ring. He would love to knock this loud mouth out. Have a dream. Take a seat. Win your exclusive World Poker Tour package now at PartyPoker.net. Official sponsor of the World Poker Tour. Here comes number one. Steel dealer days have landed. The perfect time to shop for the number one selling brand of handheld power equipment in Canada. With blowers starting at $179.95, grass streamers $139.95, and chainsaws $199.95. Not at the Home Depot. Not at Canadian Tire. Visit your local steel dealer for expert advice, on-site service, and Canada's number one selling brand of handheld power equipment. Find yours today at steel.ca. We have to get this room out of 1991. Life Improvement by Deluxe. Oh, it's not them. It's the room. It's stuck in 1986. Oh. Life Improvement by Deluxe. What's he doing? You think I have time to run into? Golf Town, anything for golf. Smoothness matters. That's why we cold filter Miller Genuine Draft four times. Beer experts know that means we never heat pasteurized. But to the rest of us, it means this. Who's gonna save the world tonight? The four times cold filtered, refreshingly smooth taste of Miller Genuine Draft. Right now, somewhere in the world. The Wooden Award was created at the Los Angeles Athletic Club by club athletic director and vice president Duke Llewellyn in collaboration with John Wooden. The award celebrates the most outstanding basketball player of the year both on the court and in the classroom. Thursday night, the finalists attended a dinner named in Duke's honor to bring players together and create a bond between the men and women honored. The players also spent time together this morning touring the Staples Center and the ESPN studios. And now it is time to present the 2015 John R. Wooden Men's Player of the Year Award presented by Wendy's. Here to present the award is the Chief Marketing Officer at Wendy's, Brandon Solano, and Coach Wooden's grandson, Greg. Good evening. And what a special evening it is. It's a tremendous privilege for Wendy's to sponsor the John R. Wooden Men's Player of the Year Award. On behalf of the Wendy's family, 
and all of our franchisees across the country. We want to congratulate tonight's finalists. Beyond your tremendous accomplishments, athletically, academically, and within your communities, one of the greatest things you've done is to set a fabulous example for the young people of America. You are a true representation of the total basketball player that encompasses all of Coach Wooden's ideals. The nominees for the Men's Wooden Award presented by Wendy's are Willie Cauley-Stein, Kentucky. What a ability of what time. A very nice all-around game. That is big time. That was posterizing people. Jaron Grant, Notre Dame. He's a slasher, tries on his stop going up, up, and up. You give him a sliver of daylight, he will make you pay. Jaron Grant, a complete basketball player. The dream, the drive, the spins, post-ups. He can do anything that you need him to do. Jalil Okafor, Duke. He is ridiculously talented. One-on-one, -on -one, there's no player in college that can guard him. And Jalil Okafor can really be a force. He's the best interior player in the country. D'Angelo Russell, Ohio State. They'll let him shoot from anywhere he gets it. He is able to execute at an extraordinarily high level. And this kid is so smooth. And now, the 2015 John R. Wooden Men's Player of the Year. And the winner is, from the University of Wisconsin, Frank Kaminsky. Frank, congratulations on another award. It's been a remarkable season for you. You talked early, uh, early in your career that during your recruitment at times that you felt like you were overlooked, that maybe you didn't always get the, uh, the attention and, and get your due. What's it like now to reach this point and win the Wooden Award? It's been an unbelievable journey. Um, I never thought I'd be in this position. I'm just so happy to be here and so grateful for all the people who think of me in such a high regard. It's just it's awesome being here. When you look back over your four-year career at Wisconsin, starting from not playing much to uh, reaching the, the point that you guys did, going to two straight Final Fours, what will be most meaningful to you about that time? Just the camaraderie and all the relationships I built with people. Um, all the people who helped me along the way, all the people who had confidence in me, and obviously the basketball was fun too. Obviously, uh, the championship game, a bit of a disappointment, but have you had time to sit back and, and think about the great accomplishments that you guys have achieved over the last couple of years? I've thought about it, and it's just so awesome to look back at everything that we accomplished. Um, I had such a great career at Wisconsin. Um, I had so many friends, so many coaches who helped me along the way. I'm just so grateful to the University of Wisconsin for helping me along that journey. What was for yourself as a player? Um, just seeing everyone, you know, in the college game, how good they were and how much success they were having really inspired me to become a good player because that's what I wanted for myself and for my teammates. How would you describe 